Hey everyone, this is Larry with Today I Feel Like. I am back in the building to do my weekly haul video. And yeah, it's late here on the East Coast, but I wanted to do it a little late this time because some of my West Coast people have told me that my earlier streams are a little bit too early for them. So I just wanna say shout out to all of my East Coast people who are up late watching with me and big ups to all my West Coast people that are in the building. So, all right, let's see here. Let's wait till we get a couple people in the, uh, in the house here. And then we will get this thing kicking off and open up some packages and see what we have. So, yeah, let's just see. Um, I think I'm going to do, just as a little bit of channel uh, channel uh, news update stuff, I think I'm going to do a, uh, a Q&A and giveaway uh, video or giveaway uh, live probably next weekend. I was actually thinking of doing one tomorrow, but... I'm not sure if I'm going to get around to it tomorrow, but I think I might do a Q and A and um, and a uh, giveaway video kind of combo uh, next week, and sort of a wine and winners, but a little bit more laid back, not so just straightforward. Just so probably you know talk to the talk to my audience a bit, answer some questions, whether they be you know YouTube questions or or questions about uh, core cutting or product reviews or personal or whatever. So yeah. Anyways, I think I might do that next week. All right. Anyways, let's, uh, let's, uh, you know, let me shout out a couple people in the building here. <clears throat> I see, uh, I cannot pronounce that name, but I'm going to say, uh, Asaraf Zah Zahari, Asaraf Zahari. I'm mean, hope that I get that right. If I messed it up, please forgive me. And let's see here. We also have, um, Aurora Gonzalez in the building. Shout out to Aurora. And, uh, let's see here. Oh, look at that. One of my uh, one of my buddies from across the pond, and this is the reason why I did this live stream late because some of the other people from around the world that are either across the pond over in Australia, like Big Ben, or if they're on the on the West Coast out in California and further out west, like uh, you know out in Hawaii and whatnot, they uh, often don't watch sometimes because it just comes on too early and they miss it because they're at work or whatever. So. Doing it late like this for me is a little bit earlier for them. So shout out to you, Big Ben. I see you in the building. Let's see. We have Coalesce in the uh, in the house saying hello or hi. I see you in there. And uh, yeah, so good vibes. I see you. All right, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, oh, look at that. Tom McCann is in the house like the shoes. I see you. Big ups, Tom McCann. I see you in the building, you know. Um, Let's see. Let's see. Cola says you have uh, you have the perfect timing for my place. All right. I like that. I'm trying to reach everybody. I'm trying. I'm trying to reach everybody. So sometimes I do it early. Sometimes I'm going to do it late so that I can reach uh, uh, the, some of the folks that don't always get to see the live stream live because it's just too early. So. All right. Let's get going and get some of this stuff cracking. And I'm going to open this one here first because this one I kind of actually ripped the box open. And uh, so I just wanted to go ahead and get this one out of the way. And um uh, this one here, this is going to be, let's see, there's, there's, I don't see an Amazon label on here, so we'll toss that off to the side. I don't see one on the box, but these are Outdoor Master Sport Sunglasses. So yeah, these are going to be the Outdoor Master Sport Sunglasses, if we can see that right there. And um, let's open up this, uh, let's open up this package right here and see what they look like. So it looks like, first of all, we're going to get a very nice case. So I really like seeing that. Very good. Let's open this up and see what they look like. And it looks like they're, there's going to have some wrapping on there or something. I guess it's probably a, oh, it's just plastic to protect the lenses. So, oh, look at that. All right. It looks like, let's see if I can get this off here, this plastic off here. It looks like I may have to take this. Oh, I don't know how this is going to work. Let me just rip this plastic. That's one way to do it. Let me just rip the plastic off and then I can get to it. So now, yeah, toss this off to this. Oh. Oh, that is not a good thing. That is not a good look, especially when it's live. Wow, the lens just straight fell off. Oh, wow. I don't even know what to say about that one. I'm, I'm assuming that it's maybe designed so that it can come off. I don't even know how to, how do you get this thing back in here even? Let's see. Um, yeah, that is, that is pretty crazy. All right. Let's see if this goes in there. I guess that's the way it is. Um, yeah. Does that suppose, is that supposed to come out? Ooh, that's coming out really, really easy. Yeah. I'm, I have to say I'm not comfortable with that. 
No, not at all. That's wow. Not a good look. <laughs> not a good look. The lens straight fell out, and it is uh it is not wow. And that yeah. And look at that. It's just like it's it's just not staying in there at all. It's just yeah. I mean, that is I mean, I don't know if you can see that, but look at that's just like even when you get it back in there, it just wants to fall right on out. So um yeah, I don't know if there's some sort of trick to lock this thing in, but oh yeah, look at that. This thing does flip up. So I guess this does, I guess you can put that in there and I guess it's supposed to lock it in, but it's not locking. Um, it doesn't seem to be locking in. Let me see if I can push this a little bit tighter and let's see. Nope. All right. Well, enough time spent on that. I'm going to call this a fail. These aren't going to be, uh, getting reviewed. I guess I'll have to contact the company and show them the video and tell them that your product unfortunately looked horrible in the live stream because, well, the lens fell out. <laughs> oh, man. Somebody said, ooh, sports sunglasses. Yeah, the lenses fell out. That was just, that's just straight comical. So there you go. <laughs> I wouldn't want that one when the sun shining. I wouldn't want that at all. So <laughs> BB, I mean, Jack says you don't know your own strength. <laughs> I don't know about that one, man. I don't know about that one. Nice and nasty. Lane is in the house. I see you. I see you. Nice and nasty. Big ups to you. Um, yeah, Aurora Gonzalez. You're, it, it looks like it might have broke off. And it's crazy because I exerted zero force to that thing. It just, I, you know, the lens just literally fell out. So I'm assuming that it might be defective. So I, yeah, I just don't know, but. If I was doing a if I was doing a product review when that happened, I would probably contact them and tell them, hey, something's going on. Send me another pair or something so I can check it out. But because this is live, you guys are getting the 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 you know all of it. You're getting the the good and the bad. So all right. Not that you don't get the bad in my reviews and the good, but sometimes if something is obviously defective, I'll just say, Hey, I think your product is defective. Send me another one because it might just be a bum unit. That stuff happens. So yeah. All right. Let me uh let me go ahead and move on to the next one. And this is uh let's see, this is from it says air curtains at www.1234buy.com. So never heard of them, but let's see if we can get this bag open and see what we have in here. And it looks like we are going to get two different things. Oh, okay. So it looks like we're going to get a passport cover. And I think this is one of these things. Let's see here. So it looks like we're going to get a passport cover there. And actually, let me do this. Let me take this out. Uh oh, I dropped something. That little lanyard piece that's in there. So it's going to come with a little lanyard that's, oh, okay. This thing, this is going to be one of those little covers that you can put your uh, vaccine, your vaccine card in. So if you're traveling and you need to show proof of vaccine to somebody, you have it protected in here. And there's a little lanyard that you can wear around your neck or something. So there's that. And then we are going to get the passport, uh, little passport cover here. So let's see what this is going to look like. And oh yeah, okay. So it looks like we're gonna get this. So on this side, we're gonna have it. So on on this side here, where the uh, where this little flap is, you can put your passport. On this side here is where you're gonna put your vaccine card, so that you have everything. And this feels like it might be leather. It might be like a faux leather, but yeah. Anyways, on the front, it's uh, it's it's uh, embossed there. It has the the United States of America passport symbol on there. So. Um, I mean, I imagine you can use this if you're from anywhere in the world, but, you know, I guess it's really designed for people in the U.S. So, all right, we'll set that one off to the side. And this one, it looks like the same thing. Let's see. Oh, yeah. They sent me two other ones. All right. So I have one and I have the green one. I have this blue one. And then I have this sort of red color. I think that's sort of a wine or a maroon or something like that. So, yeah, there's that. So I guess I'm going to be doing a giveaway because, well, I have three of them, and I only have one passport. I'm not some super agent spy guy that has five passports from all over the world. I just have my one. So, all right. I guess I'll be doing a giveaway. Let's see. We have some more people that showed up in the building. We have Brad King in the house says, hey, Larry, I see you in there. Um, we have Ben Schwager. 
Ben Swagger Swishy Diaper, LOL. That dude has a name for you right there. Ben Swagger Squishy Diaper, LOL. Says, hey, buddy, we're bo we both are night owls, LOL. So there you go. Shout out to you, Big Ben. I see you. Or the other Ben. I can't call you Big Ben because Big Ben's across the pond, but I can call you the other Ben. So, yeah. All right. Let's see here. Let's um let's see what else who else we have in the in the spot. We have support gaming over here. Says what's good, Larry. I see you support gaming 2021. I see you. All right. Let's see. Cole S says, I have an Asian passport. Can't use that. <laughs> it's just a cover. You can use it if you wanted to. You could use it, no doubt. So yeah. All right. Let's um let's see what this one is. I think I know what this one is. I think this is a product that I actually bought on my own that I needed for my studio here. Uh, but I wasn't sure, so I figured I was just going to wait and, and get it. But I think this is just a this is just a light modifier. But since I yeah, since I have it, I might as well show it to you. So um, it just it comes with a comes with a little lens cloth. It's kind of nice that they gave me a little uh, lens cloth there, <coughs> and. And these are, it's just, it's an egg, they call it egg crates. It's a, it's a light modifier. And basically you put this right here. You see that folds out right there. You put this up and this is going to go over your light, um, over your soft box. So that when you are, um, when you have a light, you can have your light that's, it softens it up. The soft box softens the light up and this makes the light more directional. So it just hits on me and it doesn't fall onto the background or anything. So yeah, this is very cool. I'm glad I have that. That is something that I just bought for myself because I have another light that I'm going to be using in here. One of my lights I like very much, but I'm going to I'm going to upgrade to a different light, and I want to make sure I have a softbox and a uh, and a light modifier to use. So, all right, uh, let's go with this one here and uh, see what this one is. So, let's check this out and uh, and see what this is. Let's see. Who said I can use? Let's see. Aurora Gonzalez says uh, I could use one. I, I believe she's talking about the uh, the passport covers and not the light modifier. So <laughs> if you are talking about the light modifiers, big up to you. So all right, let's see here. Um, yep, says uh, Do, uh, Do King says uh, hail up, Larry. Big ups to you too, man. I see you in the building. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. All right, let's see what we have in here. And let's see, let's get this out of here. And I don't know what that is. There's some cruddy stuff on there. That is just really icky. I don't know what that is. I'm not I'm not gonna touch it. There is an Amazon barcode on here though. So let's um let's go ahead and see what we see what this thing is, what it is, and what it's going to cost. And let's see if I can scan that and see if that'll come up. And there we go. And it did not bring up anything. It just brought up a search result page. So, well, whatever. Let's go ahead and open it up. And uh, let's see what it is. Oh, this is I. This is the other part of the purchase that I made for these the the soft box. And um. And this is the soft box here. This is the the uh, the inner panel there. And this thing pops out. And you can see that it pops up, and then um, and then you can unfold it, and there we go. That is the soft box right there. It's big. It's pretty big. It's probably a little bit bigger than I was uh, than I was anticipating. I was anticipating, but this is it right there. This is going to go into the to the inner part right here with Velcro, and so yeah. Anyways, uh, we will work that out. Let me toss that over to the side over there. <laughs> it does fold up. But it can it can be a little challenging to fold those things back up sometimes. So I'll 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 get to those. Um, I'll get to it after the stream there. So um, yeah, um, let's see here. Let's 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 go with this one here. Let's see if anybody else has showed up in here. Let's see here. Ben Swagger Swishy Diaper says, and I wanted to let everyone know that I am 14 years old and I think I'm the youngest person in this channel. Hey, big ups. We love the youth here. We love the youth. <laughs> we love everyone. Men, women, young, old, doesn't matter. We love everyone. Come on through, hang out, check it out. And uh, yeah, there we go. We have Arlene uh, Hicks in the building saying, hello, Larry. Big ups to you, Arlene. I see you. Big up. Shout out to you. 
All right. Let's see here. Let's um let me go through and uh let me get through this box right here so we can see what we have. And yeah, one of these boxes, one of these things, I already know what they are when I get to it because they didn't even put it inside of another box. It's just showing up. So I already know what it is. And I'm kind of actually looking forward to it. Oh, this one actually has two things in here. All right. Let's see what this is. This is the, uh, this is the Ten Wu. Ten Wu. I don't know what that is. Let's see. Let's see if I can, uh, Let's see if I can scan this here. And this is going, oh, it says this is a Tenwu wireless uh, key certified 15 watt max fast charger. Wow, look at that. Let me see if I can, uh, yeah, there we go. Let me see if I can show you right quick on the screen here. And that's it right there. That is, uh, that's pretty impressive right there. It says it's $19.99, but that is a 15 watt fast charger. Now, the reason why that's impressive to me is that because most of these fast chargers nowadays are in chargers, these wireless chargers, they only charge at like five watts. So if some of you have noticed, if you have a wireless charging pad and you set your phone on there and it seems like it takes forever to charge, it's because it's charging very, very slowly at only like five watts. So yeah, it's uh, they can take a long time. So when you see a fast charger like this one here, and actually let me get it out of the box. Um, that charges at 15 watts, you'll you'll notice that your devices charge much faster on it. So it's, it looks pretty basic. Um, yeah, it has. Uh, I think this is going to be USB C. Very nice. So yeah, it has. It comes with a USB C cable there, and let's see if I can get that. So it comes with a USB C USB cable, and uh, it's going to plug in right there. And that is what the pad is going to look like there so that you can uh, get that. This part of stuff is sort of rubberized so it sticks, uh, so your phone sort of sticks to it, doesn't come off. On the back here, these little feet are sort of rubberized so they stick to your table or desk or nightstand or whatever. And uh, yeah, so shout out to, uh, to Tinwoo. That is, uh, again, these are, this is gonna be a 15 watt uh, wireless charger so that, um, so that you can get your wireless charging devices uh, charged up quickly. And again, these are this is like just the standard key wireless charging standard. So if you have an iPhone or an Android phone or a pair of uh, wireless charging earbuds, whether they be uh, Apple or Samsung or anybody else that does this, uh, the standard key wireless stand the key wireless standards, this is going to work with it. So shout out to uh, to Tenwu. And then this here is let's see here. This is the I think it says this is a smartwatch, but it looks like. It looks like a strange box for a smartwatch. So let's scan this. And sure enough, this is the Tenwu smartwatch, 40 millimeter uh, wireless charging. Oh, maybe that's why they gave me the wireless charging pad because the the um, the watch has wireless charging. And this is going to be uh, $69. It actually comes in black and pink. And there's a, there's a $10 coupon right now. So it's $69.99 and there's an extra $10 off at this moment on Amazon. So there is the watch right there. That is what it looks like. And it does come in pink as well. So let me click the pink one. So if any of the um, any of my Metro fellows out there or the ladies like that, you can check that out. That is the pink one right there. And this one is, let's see, again, this says it is $69.99 and it has a $10 off coupon right now. So, all right, let's let's go ahead and let's open this thing up and see what this is going to look like. Let's see if I can get this out of there without, oh, it's got a little tail. It's like, why is this thing not coming off? And I was trying not to rip the box. So, um, you know, I never know when I'm going to give stuff away. Sometimes I, sometimes stuff I keep for myself, but sometimes I like to give this stuff away, as you know. And I try to keep the box nice and uh, and neat and clean so that it doesn't somebody doesn't have a jacked up presentation when I send it to them. So, all right, look at this. I'm not going to take it out of here because I will do an unboxing of it. But check that out. That looks really nice. So we have the band. We we have an extra band. It looks like we have the watch and we have the charger. So it looks like they're going to give us. Uh, it uh, looks like there's a band actually on the watch and there's going to be a, another band. So in case one is too small or too big, you have access to that other band. So, yeah, very good. All right. Shout out to Tenwu. I like the fact that they that um, this is wireless charging and they uh, they delivered on the wireless charger as well. So, all right, moving on. Let's go with um, let's you know, let's go with this one here. So um, this one. 
Uh, you might be able to see it, but you probably can't because the, the they put the packaging all over it. But this one is the the Lati the Lati night vision binoculars. I'll just let me see if I can show you that side right there. So that is the the Lati um, the Lati uh, binoculars right there. Yeah. So um, if we turn this around here, we can see. It's going to show things like it's good for hunting, for wildlife op observation, for camping, and for night fishing. So all kinds of good stuff there. And there is a there is an Amazon barcode on here. So let me see if I can scan this right quick and see if it's going to come up. And it is. Look at that. We get the night vision goggles coming up there. And whoo, these things are Right now, they are $199.99, and they have an extra $22 off coupon right now. So this is um, that is what they are going to look like. Now, I it feels like that might be expensive, but I have actually seen some night vision goggles that are quite expensive, like a lot. Like these things can be, you know, a grip. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have to test these and see how um, how they actually perform. But there you go. You can see there that these are going to be $199.99, and that is going to be uh, with a $22 off coupon. So you can get these for around $178 or something like that. So, all right, let's get these out. Let's see what they actually look like. Um, first, we're going to get a nice case with it. That's always nice. Um, it looks like there's also going to be a little bag that comes with it, so you can carry everything in. I guess if there's different pieces or parts that you want to take out and don't want to take the case with you. Sometimes you don't want a hard case. Sometimes you just want to be able to take a little soft case with you. So, um, But I'm curious to see what these things are going to look like in real life. So let's get these things out. And oh yeah, they definitely they definitely look like, ooh, what was it? Oh, it was just a little card there. They definitely look like uh, night vision goggles. They look like something that are that's like out of a movie. Um, but it, said, it looks like there's a power button on there. And turn. Let's see. I don't know if there's any juice in here. Let me see if I can push those and turn it on. See if anything comes on. Yeah, I don't see anything yet. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and uh, let me see here. There we go. Now I can see in the dark. I'll have to try it out. And see if I can see in the dark. But there's. Um, but yeah, it's uh It looks like it's gonna be pretty cool. Let me actually. You know, let me just show you there. Let me show you the uh, the the front of it here. Let me see if you can check that out. That's what it's going to look like right there. So you can see all the controls on the front there. And then this is what it's going to look like on the back part there. That's going to be the, uh, those are going to be the eye pieces there that you can look into. And then that is the, uh, the front, the front optics there that you'll see through as well. So yeah, it looks like on the back, it looks like there's something there that, that lifts off. Oh, that's what it is. Check that out. There's bad. That's why it's not working because there's actually batteries for each side there. So you need to put some battery, oops, the battery door came off. I guess the battery doors uh, are removable like that. So yeah, so it looks like there's gonna be batteries that need to go in there that you can put on there. So, all right. Well, I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to get some batteries and test these things out and see how these actually perform. So I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna do an unboxing video and, uh, and, and check these thing out, check these out, see what else comes in the packaging with them uh, when I do. And, and then we'll see how these things go. I, I hope there's a way that I can actually put my camera, um, that I can put my camera in there with the optics so that I can show you how these things actually perform and not just tell you. Cause I mean, I really would like to be able to show you what the night vision looks like. Some of these things actually will record and you can actually uh, see a little bit of that. So. All right, let me set this off to the side again. They didn't put these in a box. They just stuck the sticker right on the front there. So, all right. Uh, let's grab this one here. Let's see if we have anybody else in the building that just showed up. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> ben said, wow, the fast charger from 1999. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Somebody said, is it, is it okay if I call you Godzilla? <laughs> Oh, my goodness gracious. Pete, you guys are crazy. Let's see. Big Ben from across the pond said, bro, got to get back to work. Hit me up later. Uh, hit me up for a chat later. All right, man. Thank you, Big Ben, for showing up. I appreciate you. And it is the middle of the workday for him. So, But I'm glad you showed up for a few minutes to come check me out, no doubt. Let's see here. We have, uh, we have Pete W. in the building saying, what's up, Larry? What's up to you, Pete? I see you. And uh, let's see. Pretty watch or a nice watch? Yeah, that is. It's a pretty. It looks like a pretty nice watch. I'm I'm looking forward to testing it out. Uh, let's see here. 
says you have a lot of goodies there. Yeah, I do. This is this has been a really really nice week. So um, let's see here. Pete says might be Bluetooth. It could be. Yeah, could be. Let's see. Cola says uh, watching the Olympics and my country is winning. Might get a uh, gold medal. Nice. I appreciate uh, I appreciate all those Olympians out there. They are doing a fantastic job. I love seeing people go out there work hard and staying strong and, and really putting it all, all out in the line. I love when I see athletes that are just like pushing through and not quitting. I love that. Like to like I, one of my favorite athletes is not from the U S I know some people are going to give me grief, but I love Katarina Thompson, Johnson or Johnson Thompson, Katarina Johnson Thompson. And she's a, she's a, a heptathlete from, uh, from, from uh, great Britain. And yeah, she is awesome. She was running the 200 meters. She, she pulled up her Achilles tendon when she was having trouble with it before. And I guess it, I don't know if it ruptured or whatever, but it, she went down in pain and it was so bad. She couldn't get up right away. And they brought out a wheelchair. They were about to wheel her off the track. And she said no and waved them off and, and basically limped and hobbled her way to the finish line, which I just thought was just absolutely amazing. That, to me, is what exudes the Olympic spirit. People that are just saying, I will not give up. I'm going to keep pushing forward and finish this race no matter what. I don't like seeing people quit during the Olympics. Don't like it. Do not like it. All right. Next one here. Let's uh, Let's go on to the next one. And see what we have here. And uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh oh. Did I not cut through this? There we go. You know, for those who ask, some people, so I usually get a question or two about my knife. And this is the Benchmade Mini Freak. And I probably need to clean that, as you can see there. It's got some, let's see, this thing. My camera really just wants to focus wherever it wants to focus today. All right. There we go. I, that is the Benchmade Mini Freak. My blade's a little dirty, but yeah. Um, it's pretty nice. It's a nice small. Um, it's a nice small little folding knife, and it's um, you know, it's a manual knife, but it has these thumb studs on there, so you can open it really quickly. So, um, but I usually get a question or two about what knife I'm using, so I figured I'd just mention it. So, all right, <clears throat> let's go ahead and uh, see. Oh, I meant to ask, uh, Colette, what country are you from? I know you said that your country might win a gold medal, so I'm curious to know what country you're from. And uh, yeah. So let's see here. Della says, uh, great knife. So thank you very much. Yeah, I, I like that. So oh, look at this. I actually have two watches to review. <laughs> this is, oh, did I, you know, I did bring up the Tenmu watches. Yeah, I did bring up. So this is the Goku smartwatch. And they actually make pretty good smartwatches. I have reviewed one or two of their watches before. This is the Goku smartwatch right here. And yeah, and actually they have, let me move this box off over there. They have an Amazon code on here. So let me see if I can, um, let me see if I can get this to scan. And there we go. Let's see what this is going to come up. And this watch here is a bit cheaper. This one is $45.99 right now. Yeah. And uh, this one says it is going to offer uh, fitness tracking, uh, blood pressure monitor, Sleep, uh, sleep tracking, heart rate, sleep tracking, and it works with both iOS and Android, and it's waterproof. Uh, it has a waterproof pedometer and calorie counter for running. So, yeah, check that out there. There's all kinds of goodies that you're gonna get, all kinds of features you're gonna get with that watch. So big ups to them. And uh, again, this one is um, this is a little bit. You're gonna get call, and you'll be able to get call and SMS notifications on the watch and all that stuff too. There, there too. So, yeah, nice. And again, this is. Um, this is what it's going to look like right there. So shout out to the shout out to Goku. So I might I think what I'll do is an unboxing video for this one. I reviewed some of their watches. I can't review too many watches because well you know you have to actually wear them for a while to get a feel for them. So um, but um, I will probably just do an unboxing and give you an idea of what this looks like and, and let you check it out. So all right, and then we have a couple of more. Um, this one, let me show you right quick. This one right here. I can't open up. I cannot open that one up because uh, they didn't. They didn't send. They didn't put this box. They didn't put this box inside of another box. Instead, it is. Uh, it's just the regular box. But what this is is a um, electric bicycle. So someone sent me an electric bicycle that I'm actually really looking forward to trying out. It's one of those small bikes, I believe, that folds up and it allows you to either use um, different modes. You can just use the pedals alone, or you can use pedal assisted. Or you can actually just use the regular battery by itself and just use it sort of like as a scooter or a moped or something. So 
but make sure you check me out because I am going to do a review of that bike. I'm going to, I'm going to put it together, see how difficult or easy it is to put together. And then I'm going to go out, charge it up and test it out and see how it performs. So yeah. All right. Let's open this one up here. And this is going to be my last one that I opened tonight. Um, so let's see here. Let's check this out. And uh oh, almost knocked my computer over uh, off of here. All right, let's get that going. Let me set my knife. Or, let me set my knife away. Cola says, "Sadly, oh, she says, um, yeah, she says, sadly, her country didn't win gold. Yeah, that happens. That happens. You know, America usually wins a lot of golds, and we are not winning as many golds this year as we have in the past. So, um, yeah, that's something." throw that off to the side and this is i have no idea what this is um oh it says these are 120 watt solar panels all right let me uh let me scan this right quick and here we have it i'm gonna actually take this out of the box so we can see it because there's really nothing to see on the box but um this is from a company called sun mealy and this is a 120 watt solar panel and it's 197.99 and uh yeah so this is going to allow you to charge up all kinds of stuff right there so there you have that that is what it is going to look like so you can uh, set that up prop it up then you can use it and get power to charge your phones or your tablets or your computers or all kinds of great stuff so <coughs> excuse me um let's go ahead and uh let me open this up and this thing is heavy man there's I think this must be one of those solar panels that actually has um, actually has battery um, that actually has battery storage on it because this thing is really heavy. This is heavier than just regular old um, just regular old solar panels. So let me uh, let me get this out and let's see here. Uh, Get this out of the there we go. It's nice to see it comes in this nice case. So we have this nice case here. Um, yeah, this is going to have, um, it looks like it's going to have this little pocket here that you can unzip. And then it's going to have all kinds of goodies in there. So it's going to have, uh, it's going to have cables in there. It's going to have different connectors so that you can connect it to, uh, you know, different types of devices. Um, there's a little carabiner that they put in here. Um, it looks like this is going to be a, a charging power charging connecting uh, cable that's going to go on there. And uh, yeah, so it looks like there's a, another carabiner in here as well. All right, let's see. Um, let's see if we can undo this thing. Let's zip that part back up so nothing falls out of there. And this thing, I don't know what this part is. Oh, I think this is the stand so that you can set this up, I think, when you get this, when you get it propped up somehow. And then this part is going to, it's going to unbuckle from here. And let's see. How, let's see how we, oh, wow. Oh, yeah, this is nice. So this is all, the panels are all folded up in here. They're all built into this so that you don't have to worry about taking stuff out. So it looks like there's going to be four different panels that you can use. And yeah, look at that. So there's going to be four different solar panels on there that you can use and then uh, and get this going. And yeah, I'll have to see how, I'm going to have to try this out and see how this works. But this is it. These are the solar panels. So big ups to them. And uh, yeah, and then this folds. This is nice because it folds up so easily. Wow. That is, and everything is kept together in one simple place. It has a nice handle right there, a nice rubber handle that you can take that with you. That's pretty slick, no doubt. I mean, when the apocalypse comes, I'm going to be ready. I'm going to have my solar stuff. It's not going to matter because, you know, all the uh, all the cell towers and everything will be down, but I'll be able to at least look at my pictures maybe so, you know, I can remember everybody that got blown up by the, by the uh, you know, the alien attack or, or by the big comet or whatever else there is. So, yeah. All right, let's see. Let me look at a few more comments before I get out of here. Uh, let's see. D Rex said, uh, said, yo, what's up, man? And, uh, let's see. 
Pete says, uh, show the assembly of the bike. I will, but I can't do that right now. I don't think I'm going to do the assembly live. I think it may take me a little bit to put it together. I'm not the most mechanical person in the world, so it's going to be a good test. But I will make a video putting the bike together and showing that. So no doubt. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see. Nice, nasty lanes. I can't wait to see that bike review. I can actually, I'm looking forward to actually doing that review too. No doubt. I'm looking forward to that one. That's going to be fun. So, um, Arlene Hicks says, nice. I like that. Arlene Hicks has such a nice smile. Every time I see her, her, uh, every time I see her thumbnail, she has like this glowing, nice smile. Just very, she looks like a very nice person to be around. So let's see here. Uh, D Rex says, uh, we should have celebrated Felix before Richardson. Um, she didn't accomplish anything yet. Um, that you know, I mean, Allison Felix is, is, you know, people talk about goats and whatnot, and, and I don't hear anybody running around talking about Allison Felix as the goat. Allison Felix has won more Olympic medals in track and field than any other woman in history. She has won 10 medals in track. She is a goat. Like people run around when they want to, they want to put goats on their on their leotards and everything else and then they want to quit well allison felix is a true goat she went out there knowing that she was not fast enough likely to win but she got in there she gave her best and if you watch at that finals when everybody else was at the end of that race and they were giving out her 35 year old legs going up against those 20 something year olds was rolling and she pushed was pushing through in those last few yards the last few meters of that race was nothing but sure mental strength and heart. And she ended up taking bronze that, I mean, I've always said, I think silver medal, the silver is like the heartbreak medal. I don't think anybody wants a silver medal. I think you either want gold and you're happy. You got gold silver. You're just like, just, just heartbroken. Like I can't believe that I got silver and bronze. You're just happy. you got a medal at that point. You're like, I didn't get gold. And you know, so you're just happy. You got a medal. So Anyways, I think bronze is bronze and gold. Gold and bronze are probably the two best medals. I think silver is like the heartbreak medal. So, yeah. Let's see here. Um, what do we say? We have Ben Swagger. Uh, Swishy says, hey, uh, everyone, FYI, gold is swag. And my, uh, my new middle uh, school that I will be going to in the fall has gold days. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's see. So definitely. Let's see here. It says USA basketball team won gold. Spoiler, I haven't seen the game yet. <laughs> well, at least I know who won. Now I can go in and watch with ease. No stresses on that one. So, um, yeah. All right, you guys and girls, everyone, thank you so much for showing up and showing out and hanging out with me while I do my haul video. I really appreciate it. It was a lot of fun. I have a lot of stuff. I always, I, I seem like I just keep getting really really cool stuff. I keep telling people no. It's like, it's, it seems to me like the more I tell people no, the better stuff I get. So I should, maybe I should just keep telling people no, and maybe somebody will send me a car or something one day. I don't know. <laughs> that would just be ridiculous. <laughs> but thank you so much. I really appreciate everyone coming through. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave. Uh, if you don't mind, give this video a thumbs up. Just hit that thumbs up either now or on the way out, whatever. Make sure you give me a thumbs up so that the YouTube algorithm picks me up and pushes the video out there so more people can find me, more people can see it. And um, I think I'm going to do a giveaway video real soon. I think I'm going to mix it up and do a video of giveaway slash Q&A so it's just mixed up a little bit. So if you have questions that you've um, been wanting to ask me, Go ahead and write them down, type them out, whatever, get them ready so that when I do that video, you can have them ready for me. And I can, uh, and I'll probably, I might even put, I think I might put my phone number up there or something so that you can call in if you want. Or maybe I'll put the StreamYard uh, link in there so people can pop in and say hello if they want to as well. So, yeah. All right. Well, thanks, everyone. I appreciate it. And uh, until next time, I am Larry. Well, also, I forgot to mention, I'm going to put links to everything down below in the video description. So if you saw anything today that you liked, whether it be a solar panel or those glasses, I don't know about the glasses, you know, or let's see, the, either either one of the smart watches or whatever else. Make sure that you uh, make sure that you check the video description down below. I will put a link to it down there. So yeah. Anyways, all right. Thanks everyone. I appreciate it, and I am Larry with today. I feel like, and until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace. <laughs>